Boom! Hit the rail, hit the rail! Oh. Yeah! Yeah! He did that because I told him to! Power trip. <laughs> We're rolling. Welcome to Roll, Minnesota. We're watching Roll, Minnesota. You're watching Roll, Minnesota. Minnesota seal of approval. Yeah, we're watching Roll, Minnesota. Subscribe. Hey everybody, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate. Butch Lamin out here. Today I'm joined by a couple of the guys and we're gonna check out a skate park in the abandoned Burnsville Mall. Yeah, you heard that right. This is a skate park that's inside of the mall. There's a lot of uh, business closures that are in here, but it's been revitalizing the area, bringing in a younger crowd. And so uh, we'll bring that to you. There's also a vert ramp over in the corner, which is kind of wild. I mean, how often do you see a vert ramp out in the wild, let alone at a large shopping facility? Check it out. You can see it way off in the distance. But anyway, this park is called Skaterapolis and it's in scenic suburban Burnsville, just outside of Minneapolis. We'll give you guys a tour and then as always, we're gonna bring you some tricks. So come along for the ride. Should be a good time, everybody. Cameron. What Howdy. up? Ooh. And we got Dave Walsh. What up? Boom. What up? Dave's got some lines for us. I've been watching skates. him and he's got new skates with new wheels and it's a really slippery park. So we've added as many technical difficulties as possible to handicap the man. And they were in the rain before we came here. So that's right. They were Let's just to make it as hard as possible. As hard as possible. But it's going to be great. Open it up, Dave. Give, give me a line. All right. That was pretty good for a first try, first trick. I gotta be careful not to run into anything. <laughs> Waxing it again. You ready for some redemption? Yep. Let's get this. Backslide to Al Uporn. It's a classic. I'm in one of those moods, one of those cross-legged grinding moods. You guys know what I'm saying. Now we'll tag Dave in. Tag. Tag him You're in. it. Tag, time to lace. To give you guys a perspective of height, I'm only five foot eight. I am not a tall guy. That's where the ceiling is. It almost feels a little bit claustrophobic in here, but uh, it's kind of cool to have a skate park that's inside of the mall. And this is a mall that's been dying for a while, so having a place like this helps revitalize it. Brings in some of the youth, probably benefits some of the other businesses, especially the food court. That was sick! So good. This is my favorite part of the ceiling, but it's just a random hole. Right there. It's definitely strange. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, so far, really liking this quarter pipe. Great transition, four feet tall. Perfect if you like skating quarter pipes like I do. Look like you got a little... first little phrase of plastic are coming off. Uh-oh. We like that. We like look it. like you got a little bit sticky on the alley top horn. I've, I've waxed it like three times. You it's waxed just... it a lot. 
Skate better, right? Skate better. That was buttery and smooth and beautiful. And when I landed, I was oh. like, don't slip out, don't slip out. Yeah, that 180. My right too. heel was woo. All right, so we're thinking about launch from there to grind up there over the seam. And in. Should be easy, in theory. And uh, this is my kind of skating. I like ramp skating, so we'll see what happens. Jeez, that was smooth. The 270 back torque. That was beautiful. Oh no. Oh, oh the set slide out. Good job, Dave. Thank you. I got my head back in the game. Woo! So another one of my favorite obstacles here is this out ledge and it's really narrow and actually pretty tall, but I think that'll add an element of danger making some simple tricks uh, a bit more doable and a bit more stylish on this. So uh, I'm looking forward to throwing some top sides on that and I've been doing a lot of fish brains lately. I've put out a video about how to fish brain and I feel like put your money where your mouth is, right? So we got to fish brain that ledge coming in in a little bit. In the middle here, you've got a pair of grind boxes going down as well as a rail in the center. Really fun. Uh, Dave absolutely murdered this ledge. So did Cameron, uh, as well as some lines on the rail. or what type of physics are involved in that, but that was sick. Beautiful. That was not from today, but that's yeah. the problem with those scabs is they just constantly reopen. We got a vert wall up over here, and then we've got a mini ramp. Now, one of the things that's unique about this mini ramp is one side has regular metal coping, and the other side has pool coping, and it's the hard like plastic deck composite material, which slides really well. It's like butter. So uh, we're gonna try to get some grinds on that because it's a type of obstacle you don't get to skate very often. Oh, I know you like that one. I know you like that one. Dude, that stomp out was legit too. Yeah. He was it floating. He just keeps on going and keeps on going. He's like the Energizer yeah. Bunny. <laughs> oh, 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 no. You all right? Oh, I'm so scared. Dave has left the building. I think that's <laughs> We got a spine here. Interesting pillar sticking out of the quarter pipe. I should just go like this. Yeah, this is the... This is the angle. See that? Random, random punching bag. Can't reach it. The champ is here. Bum, 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 bum. I'm south father. We got a little box over here. A frame up top. Big quarter pipe transition over here. I guess that's really more of a slant. Yeah. 
uh, kick plate. We'll put that right here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Is that a wrap? Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us here at Skaterapolis in one of the suburbs of Minneapolis. This is in Burnsville at the old Burnsville Mall. And they have a full-size vert ramp outside that a lot of skateboarders are sessioning right now. So definitely check this place out. I can tell you that it was a little bit heated and tropical for us in here, but it was a good refuge when uh, it started raining outside. So fortunately, we have some places that we can uh, go to when it gets a little bit too wet, a little bit too slippery for skating. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Roll Minnesota. I'm Butch Lehman, reminding you all to stay safe, stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. Peace, everybody. If I came here at night with a drill and some PVC and PVC at the top of that rail, would you topsail it? I don't know. Maybe. Look at the landing. Bam! Snow wax the PVC. <laughs> okay. <laughs>